greatest problem facing marine ecosystems is that there are too many people, too many people who need too much, more than the systems can provide and bear. Well, since the problems are caused by people, I think people can cause the solutions. At least uh, I know how people could cause the solutions. Whether we are up to the challenge is the question. And if, it was, if the answer was simple, then we would be solving these problems as they arise. The, the main blocking points are psychological. You have to work with how people feel so that they will feel moved to act. Because if you simply give them information and statistics, it, it, it should make the difference, but obviously it doesn't. Um, and what RARE tries to do is to tap into something a little bit deeper that's driven by information and understanding, but that taps people's emotions, especially their sense of pride and their desire to be in control of their own destiny. My study that we published in Nature last uh, uh, January was about looking at 130 fisheries in 45 con 44 countries around the globe to try to identify which attributes of those fishing communities and those management systems were needed for a successful co-management. Leadership uh, within the community was one of the main attributes needed for a, co for a successful co-management. And with leaders, we mean uh, one individual or a few individuals that were really committed to the community and they were uh, uh, with entrepreneurial um, attributes and, and usually guided, or most, in most cases guided by, uh, by collective interest and not self-benefit. Improving management for those, fish, for those small scale fisheries in the developing world is a key area, not only uh, for the livelihoods of those fishermen that are the great proportion of the fishermen in the world, but also in terms of the ecosystems they are targeting. I, I believe that in this case, RARE is just nailing it in the sense that it's targeting exactly those community leaders that need to be present for a successful uh, uh, fisheries management. In some cases, in some communities, those leaders are present, but they need to be strengthened and they need to be potentiated in order to continue their work. And that's where I think that RARE can make a difference in the, those communities. While, while all other donors may, may have that intention of really helping the community, uh, RARE takes on the task of doing a campaign for a change in behavior and making sure that this behavior happens. Uh, RARE's biggest strength would be its pride program because it really hits at the heart of the community, at, the, at what the community would value, at uh, what is important to them. And uh, because they would value it, they're part of it, they'd love it, and that really would mean sustaining the project all throughout, not just implementing it for a month or two, a year or two, but throughout the, the life of, uh, of the person and the community itself. I look at RARE as being an incredibly important and critical partner at this point in time uh, in our work in the sense that we have now generated a significant amount of enthusiasm and understanding in local communities and local governments in setting up marine protected areas, but what's really needed now is to increase that technical level of understanding about how no-take zones in particular need to function uh, to, to replenish the fish stocks there. And um, that's something which really requires a major social marketing campaign, and that's where we see RARE's uh, uh, role really being incredibly important to what we're doing.